webinar on crop breeding for wider adaptation. Once again, most welcome to the dignitaries on the dais, the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Bersa Agriculture University, Dr. Owen Singh, as well as the other dignitaries on the dais. I welcome all of you today. As we all know, like always, we are here for the National Seminar on Crop Breeding for Wider Adaptation. I request all the people in the auditorium to please keep the phone on the silence mode. आप सभी का तहे दिल से हार्दिक अभिनंदन बिरसा कृषि विश्वविद्यालय के परिसर से मैं सभी पार्टिसिपेंट्स का जो आज ऑनलाइन हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं उन सभी का अभिनंदन करती हूँ मंचासीन मंच पर हमारे साथ मौजूद माननीय कुलपति बिरसा कृषि विश्वविद्यालय डॉक्टर ओएन सिंह साहब साथ ही साथ अन्य अतिथिगण जो मंचासीन हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं आज के इस नेशनल सेमिनार में एज वी ऑल नो द डिग्नेटरीज आर प्रेजेंट हियर एंड एज फर एस कोरोना एंड कोविड एज कोविड नाइन्टीन इज कंसर्न वी आर अटेंडिंग दिस ऑनलाइन नेशनल सेमिनार so i welcome all the dignitaries so all the participants who are connected with us today as per our tradition and culture we welcome the guests on this occasion the dignitaries who are present on the dais i would request the students please to please come forward and present a flower to the dignitaries on the dais for floral welcome i would request the students to welcome the honorable vice chancellor besa akhilakar university
plant meeting and genetic precise culture university for their interaction on the subject and ex and exposure to students and scientists of the university at intervals holding national seminars to provide platform for young scientists phd scholars to present their work before scientist scientific gathering interact with renowned scientists for knowledge sharing and collaboration in research during the 2019 the executive committee decided to involve and sensitize even younger group of school students through painting competitions we were happy to see the creativity of this group the students too and in november last year when we had to hold the seminar we felicitated all the students of all age group in line with the objective of the parent society the indian society of genetics and plant breeding i am talking of at rachi chapter we are holding national seminars on topics that require timely attention to bring young as well as renowned scientists of the field at one platform discuss the issues and come out with sound research strategies in view of early no on indian agriculture the present national seminar on crop breeding for wider adaptation was originally scheduled on 9 10 november 2019 which for compelling reasons was deferred for march 22 and 23 2020 the stage was set for this schedule but for covid 19 pandemic the organizers had to postpone it during initial months of pandemic everyone felt that normal livelihood activity would be difficult to come on track thank god with the dedicated efforts of the government the life by and large has come to near normalcy the abnormal situation due to covid-19 compelled to take advantage of available technologies using this web tech we have virtually assembled to discuss the important issues related to crop breeding for a wider adaptation to this to achieve the objectives of the seminar diverse themes have been structured so as to gather ideas of wider group and come to a meaningful and applicable strategies and for it we collaborated besides our parent society with indian society of plant, plant genetic resources new delhi and nabar jharkhand the support of all collaborators indian society of genetics and plant breeding new delhi birsai agriculture university ranchi indian society of plant genetic resources new delhi and nabar jharkhand is acknowledged i am sure we are going to be immensely benefited with the experience sharing of lead and invited speakers the presentations of young curious minds during technical sessions will also contribute for our future strategies i wish all the best okay all around the year in the east as well as in the whole country and these are the releases which will be to the people who are not present here or are not connected with us today thank you very much sir for the release bahut bahut dhanyawad mayani kulpati mahadev ko aaj ke sabse par unhone ise release kiya jaisa ki aap sab jante hain ki ye isgp ka rachi chapter hai aur continuously is madhyam se yahan pe kaarya kiya ja raha hai संपूर्ण भारत के लोग इससे जुड़े हैं और साथ में आज के इस सेमिनार में सभी लोग मौजूद हैं रांची चैप्टर अपने बेहतरीन प्रदर्शन करके हुए निरंतर अपने कार्य में लगा है क्रॉप रीडिंग फॉर वाइडर एडाप्टेशन के इस नेशनल सेमिनार में आज हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं वाइस प्रेसिडेंट इस रांची चैप्टर के डॉक्टर डी एन सिंह मैं उनसे अनुरोध करती हूँ उनके and i want to mr chief guest and honorable vice chancellor the kind of contribution which has been made by this indian society of genetics and plant breeding in 20th of century if you recall by this society our national society indian society of genetics and plant breeding was established before independence that is 
with the president, very first president, Dr. B. P. Paul, who was the first director general of also Imperial Council of Agriculture Research before independence, and later on it became Indian Council of Agriculture Research. And the very first secretary, I think, I'm very happy to name Sir T. S. Venkatraman. He was the first secretary, and Britishers have entitled him, given honor that is Sir T. S. Venkatraman. So the first president, Dr. B. B. Paul, who happens to be the first director general of Imperial Council of Agriculture Research and later on Indian Council of Agriculture Research. And then Sir T. S. Venkatraman, who was the director of Sugarcane Breeding Institute. These are the two people, rather many people who have contributed very significantly for strengthening the activities of Indian Society of Genetics and Plant Breeding, not at the national level, but also global level, because this Indian Journal of Genetics and Plant Breeding, this is internationally rated, and nowadays NAS rating is more than six. Sir, if you recall back the history and the kind of contribution which has been made by 20th century, I think two revolution was the major breakthrough, that is first green revolution and second is information technology. And I think green revolution make this country from food deficit to food surplus, and information technology, if you recall back, Dr. Sam Petroda, really he was the man and late Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. They are the pillar for making this contribution to take place. And information technology that has made life very easy and whole world has become a global village. And kind of information which is flowing, especially in terms of science and technology, that has really reached to the uh, very down, very down everybody who are the stakeholder are interested to know the knowledge and information. And then six times production and productivity has gone up twice only because of the integration of one drug in the tissue illusion, which was discovered from the Taiwan. And the very first two varieties of the rice, if you recall, the Sonoda Chonset and Lama Rodi. I will mean, not in case of wheat, but in case of rice, that is IR8 and Tashu 81. This have contributed, and today, we have more than 1,000 variety of rice for all possible ecology, and they have almost the blood of that Taichung Native one or IRA. So that has contributed very significantly, and as I said, that rice production from 20 million tons to has gone to 117 million tons, same which has been presented by the plant breeder here. So I think the kind of genotype which are really being bred by Indian. Uh, Institute of Wheat and Barley, I think they are able to be, and also International Center of Days and Wheat Improvement. They are developing a kind of genotype which are really giving 7 to 9 tons, 7 to 10 tons. So I think the wheat production which was at the time of independence only 9 million tons has gone 107 million tons. So this has become possible only because of the advancement of the science of genetics and plant breeding. And third revolution has, has taken place in May, you see. Honorable uh, Vice Chancellor said the hybridization of in case of maize and the production and productivity and nowadays in the US where maize is considered as a crop, 100 percent that is cultivation of maize that is under single cross hybrid. And here in our country also 90 percent, I think 9 to 10 million hectares that is under the maize and 30 million tons we are producing. So if you see that is another remarkable contribution which has been made by the scientists of genetics and plant breeder and the 8-7 million tons of maize which were being produced at the time of independence it has gone to 30 million tons only because of the developing hybrid variety in case of maize especially the single grass hybrid. Now another fourth very important contribution that is under the sugar cane. I was naming the name of T.S. Venkatraman. He was the director and breeder of sugarcane breeding in Sud Coimbatore. And earlier, whatever variety of sugarcane were being cultivated, that is such an officinera. But now, whatever variety that is being cultivated in sugarcane, that is not such an officinera, but it is a such a complex this number of species they have interpressed. And the, not only sugar content has increased, but total production and productivity. So these four major contributions which has been made by the scientists of genetics and plant breeding, that is digitalization in case of rice, norintain in wheat and hybridization in maize, and then uh, the sugar cane that Sir T. S. Venkat Raman, that these are the major achievements which has been taken place. Nowadays, the genetics, the, the topic is also crop breeding for wider adaptation. I think we are 
trying to develop with the help of the molecular plant breeder by marker assisted plant breeding and marker assisted by cross breeding that we are focusing to develop a kind of variety which are really climate resilient uh, those who can be grown very successfully under the drought condition, under say, acidic condition, sodic condition, submerged condition. So all these things are taking place and I see that very bright future of this Indian Society of Genetics and Blood Meeting and our secretary has also given a brief account of the, uh, the achievement of this Indian Society of Genetics and Plant Breeding Rachi chapter. This is the, I think, agenda for 21st century. With these few remarks, I really uh, extend my thanks to inviting myself to be here today in this two-day national seminar. Thank you very much. This national seminar mein, hamare saath mananiye kulpati ke roop mein maujud genetics and plant breeding ke bhi ek eminent scientist hamare peech maujud hai. Ham sab pratiksha karne ki ham unke baate sunen to main bina bilang manch par sadar amantrit karti hu. Mananiye kulpati prasad shri vishwavidyalay Dr. O. N. Singh. I will be more listener than telling more things. Then plant genetic resources and pre-breeding. Pre-breeding is nothing but uh, germplasm enhancement. We have to, how, because there are many good genes in various white uh, type of the variety, I mean, uh, you can say, uh, not variety exactly, but those are the, there is white type of the many crops. In the rice also are many more uh, crops. There are white, of, uh, white kind of genes and they can be trapped so, uh, and they can be taken into the adapted variety which are very useful. So we have to think on those areas also. That is basically germplasm. Pre-breeding is nothing but germplasm enhancement. Like that, climate change. Now there is everybody is speaking climate change. So we have to think of climate smart variety, which can suit in different variety environment. Like when there is more of the, uh, I mean rain, when there is drought, when there is, so, we have to think for multiple stress and of course few variety, in the past few variety have been developed but the requirement that the DLC in the morning, I mean in his speak, uh, talk he was telling that revolution, normally we are uh, used to speak about the wheat and rice but there are many, uh, many more crops <laughs> like uh, sugar cane he spoke, maize he spoke, of course one thing, the potato also, there is huge improvement in potato. So I am talking about the crop only, otherwise if you see the milk production that is also many times, maybe 5-6 times more compared to uh, 50 years back. Fish also 5-6 times more than, uh, I mean the, even uh, pulse also, I mean huge production is pulse also. So like that, but still I will see it, so uh, from uh, I will see it still we have to work hard. Country is uh, importing huge uh, iron especially edible oil. So, I mean the, and last uh, almost two and a half year I was uh, in plant variety protection appellate tribunal and the variety developed by the breeder. Because unless we give importance to breeders, unless we give them the right kind of intellectual property right, I mean nobody will invest. Uh, uh, in R&D of the varietal development. So that is why I'm, I am very much interested that the breeders should come out. I will give all kind of support if they go for, uh, and I request that research, I think he is also doing formal release of the variety. So please uh, take it and at least in the first or, uh, first or second month of the next new year, this meeting should be conducted. Please take time from the Secretary of Agriculture. So that at least a uh, few variety we develop. I mean, really, already there the material has been developed in the pulse also, I'll see, uh, I mean, the linseed also, I think, rice also, Pantuprasad. So, I mean, the, the thing is not only to work hard, we have to come at the result also. The problem is that many times we, we work hard, but we do not come at the end point. So the plant breeders right, farmers right, uh, you see in the whole world the importance have been given only to breeders. But India is the only country where the, I mean the, as far as, I mean, uh, uh, intellectual property is concerned, farmers were given equal kind of right. 
Because if you think most, many varieties which have been identified and developed by the farmers, they are still in the field. So that is why I am credit goes to our uh, I mean, learned leader, Dr. Swaminathan, who incorporated, I mean, forced government to incorporate farmers' claim also, farmers' right also. That is why our, uh, I mean, the uh, PPBFR, that is Protection of Plant Right in Farmers' Right Act. Only India, where the farmers were given so much importance. In not others' country, only plant leaders were given importance. <coughs> so that is, and the credit, much of the credit goes to our uh, Dr. Professor Swamina. My only message is that why I am speaking all those kind of things. The breeders are not devoting enough time in the field. So, I was very harsh in Katak also as head of department. I was putting more pressure. So please devote at least considerable time in the field also. Otherwise, your variety development will not be developed. It will be quickly. I mean, the farmers will not take because of uh, you have developed variety. Farmers will take only if they are feeling its importance for their own. So please uh, devote enough time. Field testing is very, very important. It, it should be rigorous. Why variety developed at Marteru and Bapatla compared to any part of the country, they are more stable, adaptable, and successful. Because uh, there, of course, geographical location is also on one of the factors. But the people, I mean, who were there, they were giving enough time in the field also. And I'm not criticizing friends, I'm telling this. I'm kind of to the, our young generation, they are not giving enough time in the field also. Of course, the supplementation of biotechnology is, is equally important. But it, the time, maybe after 50 years, biotechnology may, be complete, may complement, but the time which we are running, that is only maybe supplementary, not complementary. Biotechnology has to supplement, but the, I mean, we have to devote enough time in the field. And uh, for all your part, especially Dr. Heather and his whole team who took pain. And perhaps I am very lucky that it was planned in March, but somehow it is being conducted uh, after I reached here. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your uh, uh, meticulous plan and all those things. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, and media. Proposing a vote of thanks is Solomon task. The task becomes more solemn and pious. When it is on an occasion of webinar on a very relevant topic, crop breeding for wider adaptation. I feel pleasure in proposing both of thanks on behalf of myself, as well as on behalf of Rathi Chapter of Indian Society of Journalists and Plant Breeding and Birsa Agriculture University. First of all, I would like to thank our Honorable Vice Chancellor and Chief Guest of the National Seminar, Dr. Wen Singh, under whose dynamic leadership, guidance, and direction of this webinar is, is being organized. A special thanks to Dr. BDC, a renowned scientist of the country and president of Rachi chapter, who has been guiding the chapter for meeting the objective of the chapter in absentia. My sincere thanks to guest of honor, Sri Asis Kumar Pati, Chief General Manager, Nabad, Jharkhand. I thank Dr. G.P. Singh, a dynamic president of Indian Society of the National Community, New Delhi, who has always helped this chapter in this academic pursuit. Thank is also to Dr. M.S. a vibrant dean agriculture who is always inspiring and ready for standing facilities that are at his disposal.